Hey there, universes. I'm Levi from UVS Games, and today I got something really, really special to show you. I'm of course talking about Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. What I'm holding in my hands right now is a booster series that Universes fans have been waiting a very, very long time for. But it's finally time for the doors to this tournament to open, because today we're going to be digging into this very, very special set and learning all about what makes it so unique. It's featuring tons of new card types, tons of new rarities, alternate arts, and a slew of beautiful things that we're going to get into as we crack open this box. But even the way that you obtain this booster set is very, very different. There will be no pre-releases for this set, otherwise that's what we'd be doing this weekend. Instead, we're going to be having release events where you'll be playing sealed format events using the Dark Tournament, but the prize for such events is going to be very different. It'll be an invite to our webcam wish tournament taking place on March 9th and March 10th, where the winner will be able to decide their very own wish to make. On top of that, when you take place in these Dark Tournament release events, you're going to be competing for very, very beautiful, super Super duper cool alternate art promo cards and the winner will also walk away with the very own mat that we'll be filming on today. With all that being said though, let's crack open our very own spirit sword here and get a taste of what the Dark Tournament has to offer. So just like our other booster sets, we're going to have 24 packs inside this bad boy, but honestly, that's where the similarities end, because right off the bat, you'll notice once we check out the booster pack that there are 12 cards inside each of these, and these are primarily to make room for a lot of the new cards, because this is a super-sized set. In addition to having tons of new cards in them, we've got 35 time-shifted cards in this set, which are simply put cards from our previous Yu Yu Hakusho set brought into this new set in this new legality for our modern era standard format. And I tell you, I can feel it right off the bat. These, <laughs> these are some very, very chunky packs, but that only makes me more excited to get into them. So as I hold these 12 cards in my hand, let's take a look at just some of the beautiful cards featuring screenshots from the anime itself, images and moments pulled right from one of the most iconic tournament arcs in all of history. The set is featuring a bunch of new characters. Lots and lots of fighters from this tournament are present, and we're getting really, really closer to the shiny things now. Our rare is going to be Urotogi Expertise, which you'll immediately notice is a card that is only playable, at least this ability, by members of Team Urotogi. Tons of teams in the Dark Tournament, and we really, really let that shine in some of these cards that reflect the teams and give them abilities only playable as like an added bonus if you're playing a member of that team. And then in our time shifted card here. We're going to find Toughest Punk in Junior High, and then in our character slot, we're going to find the big bad at the end, Mr. Tagoro himself. We've got Shapeshift Decoy, Banshee's Sword Shriek. There's a lot of new Zero difficulty foundations in the set as well, which is very exciting gameplay-wise because as this set comes in and rotates set one of My Hero Academia out of standard, goes with it. Uh, most of our really, really good Zeros do. So we've got a lot of new options in this set, a lot of new kits, tons of interesting, cool new characters, and a a lot of mechanics to explore. We're going to have our character here, Bui, and then behind him is an ultra rare in Referee Jury. One of my favorite things about this set is that even the side characters get to come out and play. A lot of people inside the Dark Tournament that don't necessarily take place in the fight in itself, but still see some really cool representation here. Got Splatter Drop, Unsettling Aura, Glimpses of the Past, Ice Sword Slash, something that you'll notice as well in this set, that a lot of characters' kits contain some, uh, uh, what most gamers would call them, vanilla cards, uh, that are mostly just designed for really, really, really wide simplicity and ease of use, which is for sure an intention uh, for this set, as it's very, very much designed with draft and sealed formats in mind. An Eden Box is going to be our rare here, while Massive Blow comes in as a time-shifted card, and then Toya is our character to wrap it up. We got Stumbling Warrior, another Splatter Drop, Cruel Intent, Slam, Slam Gang, Rise Up, the Display of Power, an Ojigi Plant Grasp, the Crowd's Darling, Twin Rose Toss, a lot of Karama coming out in this pack, our Invincible Body, and then for our rare, we're looking at Surprise Daggers. We got a Bat Strike Time Shifted card here, and then Karasu himself, the rival of Karama, coming in in the character slot. As we continue to go through these packs, I'm really eager to see what high rarity goodies we're going to find, because Dark Tournament brings back a lot of the old and some new. We have, of course, secret rares and extra secret rares throughout this set. We've got ultra rares. 
but now we're packing a few different ultra rare alt arts throughout this set some alt arts inside of our uncommon slots as well i'm really excited to see what super duper shiny things this box might show us and of course you know that we're not going to be omitting chrome rares within a dark tournament and if we pull one of those well I'm not quite sure what you guys will see. Adaptable Anatomy, Deadly Claw, I Am the Dragon, A Spirit Uppercut, Arrogant Fighter, No Restraint, Demon Energy Manipulation, Ogre Killer, another crowd's darling, some aerial recon, and probably one of the most <laughs> hyped characters is in this entire set, Chew. When it comes to the dark tournament fighters within the community, within the fan base, this guy is probably the one that I saw the most excitement for. And then behind him is actually an alternate art, Dragon of the Darkness Flame. Very funny that we're going to snag a normal, an alternate art before our normal. But just to show you guys the complete comparison here, our alternate art ultra rares are going to completely ditch that border and of course find a brand new art as well. Master of a Thousand Faces, 45% power, kind-hearted, ojigi plant grass, resting up, glimpses of the past, finger daggers, body memorization, Keiko's support, and then our rare is going to come in Desperate Slash. Kuwabara strutting his spirit sword stuff, and then we'll find a Partners in Crime time shifted card right before another Toya. A Psychic Spirit Glass coming in time shifted style, a Shishiwako Maru, but there's something hiding behind this guy, and it's going to be an Armor of the Wolf, the ultra rare of Kuro Momotaro with. Quite possibly the rawest art in this entire set. Poor Hiei has uh, seen better days. In fact, he's seen them right here. Got a Fearsome Transformations, a Tornado Charge, a Battle Aura, Ice Sword Slash, Beneath the Armor, Yoko Form, Acrobatic Leap Kick, Borrowed Energy, Armor of the Ape, Tiger Scream in the time-shifted variety. And then, hey, there he is, right? Cause speak it, he shall come. Mr. Kurama unleashing the Yoko. And behind him hides an ultra-rare absorbed energy spirit strike, de depicting Ginkai in her younger days. Far more youthful, but uh, just as spry. We got Spirit Beast Poo, Shapeshift Decoy, a Banshee's Sword Shriek, Arena Stone Toss, Demon Plants, Quick Recovery, Set the Record Straight, Malefic Grenade, Childlike Appearance. Our rare is going to be Breaking the Cuffs, Yusuke unleashing all of his power. <gasps> the Dark Tournament Looms, one of my favorite time-shifted cards here. A, a very, very fitting one to find its way into this set as uh, it's it's no longer looming, guys. It's finally here, and so is Jin, another one of the most popular side characters from this iconic arc, finally recognized in Universe's form. Ah, and there it is. The meme come to life. I'm old, Yusuke. Easily one of one of the most integral moments that they had to bring into this set. The, the fans would not allow have allowed anything otherwise. We got Ginkai's Training, one of the sickest time-shifted cards to come in. And then very fitting behind it is Yusuke himself, now in his team leader form, ready to bring his boys to a win at the Dark Tournament. And behind that is going to be another ultra rare, this time for Mr. Bui after unleashing his armor in this battle aura release. That spiral pattern on the background of this one, very, very stunning. Oh, there's Bui with the most oversized axe you've ever seen. A little bit of steaming sphere power. Man, the rare foiling on these really like highlights the animation cell in a super man this is breathtaking this this is really really beautiful high spirit awareness and then our character is gen kai easily one of the most one of the most popular characters in the main roster that just due to the way the first you set was didn't didn't quite see the light in there very very awesome to be able to finally sleeve her up inside this game Ah, and finally here to join the fight is the spirited warrior himself, Kuwabara. And behind him is his arch rival, so to speak, his foe in the final round, Mr. Eldir Tagoro in his ultra rare shape-shifting impalement. One of the very, very standout things that you'll notice going through some of these cards is that there's a lot of echo moves in this set. So if you're a fan of that strategy, this is a fantastic booster for you.
We got a double fists of the mortal flame. He ain't going ham here. 16 instant slashes. Once again, he ain't going ham. And then, uh, we, you know, we just saw his ultra rare. So it's only fitting that Elder Tagoro himself makes an appearance. I love uh, the fact that he's still riding on the shoulder of his brother in the card art. Very, very funny. And then, ooh, wow. You know, speaking of he ain't going ham, we're going to find our secret rare inside this box. And it is Darkness Dragon prowess all about paying the cost of his own health he a getting to gain a bunch of benefits off of it what a striking card and what a powerful card that secret rare also marks us getting through the first half of this booster box so we've only got half a box left now to try and pull ourselves an elusive chrome rare uh, our rare here is going to be Botan's Coaching, a nice little callback to Voice of Reason, Crimson Sparrow as our time-shifted card, and then following up his secret rare, we have he himself, the Dragon Within, finally unleashing the power of the Darkness Dragon and uh, forcing your rival to block your attack two times. A very jolly gin in this Tornado Fist, 60% power. One of the funniest things about uh, younger Tagoro's entire kit in this set is his attacks are all literally the, the numeric scales in his power until finally you get to 100% and then his secret rare which is the true 100%. We have Ogre Boulder for our rare or Strike as a nice little time shifted card here and then ooh speaking of time shifted no 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 this one's a little different we have our retro reprint here in True Identity so these now if the super duper hyper stylized nature of them the totally different layout the the massive oversized fonts the retro show logo here if all that didn't key you in guys these are not legal in our new standard format if you'll notice comparing these to a new Dark Tournament card. In the bottom left here, you'll see the Dark Tournament set logo, but in the bottom left of True Identity here, you'll see the original set logo of the first Yu Hakusho set. This means that, that this card is still only legal in formats contained at booster set, which our current standard format does not. These are very much for the retro players, or maybe you're dabbling in Yu Yu Hakusho Spotlight, or maybe you just want a beautiful, retro-looking, nostalgic collector's piece. That's what these guys are for. Oh, we have Sword Get Longer for our time shifted card. The very first time shifted card shown off, in fact. Another Elder Tagoro hiding in the midst. And then our ultra rare is Suzuki Flurry, the signature attack of the beautiful Suzuki. I don't wanna I don't wanna get put in Spirit World jail, gotta say it right. All right, we got paying the cost here. Our rare is gonna be Hungry for Fame. Shishi Wakamaru showing off. Kuromomotaro for the character, and then ooh, behind him, we've actually got a second character because our rare slot in this pack is going to be a character XR and it is of course the dragon within himself Hie. This is a this is just a Hie box guys. This is just a Hie box. This is actually just the Hie set that they wanted me to show off for y'all. One of the biggest differences in this set is of course that you're not going to find XRs of every single card but in order to make sure that we still had some shiny characters to play with you will still be finding the character XRs within Dark Tournament. And as we come across our last pack here that means this is our last chance to get to help show off what one of our new chrome rares look like i mean look if the patterns if the patterns follow at all this is just a he a chrome rare right we have beautiful card strike we have master of wind spirit beast poo quick recovery bamboo training slash hey he, he is there right that's like step one cruel intent lively defense sakio's gamble sakio my my muse beautiful energy blast Weapon Clash is going to be our rare. We have a Spirit Charge Kick, Time Shifted, and then our character is Jin. And there you have it, folks. That is a taste of what you can expect when you crack open a booster box of Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. This wonderful set is going to be hitting game store shelves February 23rd, and you're only going to be able to find it on those local game store shelves. Remember, this is a very special and a very unique set, guys. And if you really, really, really want to get in on all the Yu Yu Hakusho action, you need to also make sure you hit up your local game stores to get in on the Dark Tournament release events, as they are your only avenue to getting an invite to the Elusive Wish Tournament. So if you want to throw down for the chance to make your very own Universus Wish come true, make Make sure you're signed up, make sure you're talking to your local game store, and make sure you have some strats ready to take down your release event and prove yourself one of the strongest spirit fighters around.
And of course, if you don't have a local game store, don't know where one near you is that's going to be hosting these amazing events, you can always use the store finder on our Universes Gaming Network to locate a community near you. With that being said, guys, get ready because tomorrow you're going to start seeing our very own content creators open up their own early access boxes of Dark Tournament, and we're going to start to see more and more of these stunning cards out in the wild. I cannot wait to see who pulls the very first Chrome Rare. Until then, guys, I've been Levi from UVS Games. I cannot wait to see you at some Dark Tournament release events. And of course, stay classy, Spirit Detectives.